Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Robert, here with JTech Apple, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at several Cydia tweaks and applications for your iPhone, iPad, or whatever device you may have. Now, these are going to be functional tweaks, and they will be in no order at all. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Now, the first thing that we're going to go ahead and look at is an app called Swipey. Now, what Swipey allows you to do is bring your lock screen a different look and actually have app shortcuts in the lock screen. So all you have to do is swipe left and there you could see six different applications that you set yourself if those are user applications or applications you installed from the app store and pretty much every time you swipe left a new app appears and if you let it go then the app will open. Now this does work with a passcode it just respring's you back to the lock screen page and there you type in your password and you are good to go. But overall, this app has very nice transitions, is awesome to use, and overall looks nice and lets you get to your apps really fast. Now the next one that we will be looking at is called No Slow Animations, and it does exactly what it says. It speeds up your transitions on your phone, and if you double click the home button, you will get to your task switcher really quickly, or if you close an app, pretty much all the transitions will be very quick and they will, you know, get sped up like the app says, no slow animations, and you guys can get it free in the Cydia App Store, so you might as well. Now the third one we're going to look at is called CC Hide, and it is based around Control Center and the options and functions that Control Center really gives you, but what CC Hide allows you to do is hide certain things in the Control Center. So it's a very simple app, there's the... Uh, enabled sections and all you have to do is turn them on or off if you need them because personally I don't use airdrop or airplay a lot so I can turn that off and clean up how my control center looks and overall CC hide is very simple and it's easy to maneuver. Now the fourth application that we will be looking at is called App Locker and it's another one of those that does exactly what the name says. It locks all of your applications or the ones that you choose at least and you either type in a pin code, a passcode or even your fingerprint if you have the new iPhone 5s. It's very simple. You just choose the apps that you want locked and you set your passcode and you're good to go. Those apps will be protected and only you can open them. Now the next one that we have is CC settings and it will allow you to change certain toggles on your control center and refine how control center looks. Personally, I don't go on airplanes as much as I would want to, so I don't really need airplane mode. I can get rid of that and replace it with another toggle that would be more useful and it will make your control center more useful and something that you would actually want to access. Now I know a lot of us get caught up with closing all the applications and in iOS 7 it is kind of tough to close all the applications because you have to keep swiping up and it can take a long time but with Switch Spring which is our next tweak you can swipe to the left on the home screen and there you could restart you could quit apps and it's a quick way to respring your device but at the same time quit all the applications if you would like and it's very simple it you know does what it says and it works well. Now the next one that we have is 3G Unrestrictor which is a fairly popular application especially before but now Apple has updated the download limit of applications to 100 megabytes but for some that is still not enough. Like for me I have unlimited LTE data so I might as well and use that data and download applications but Apple does restrict me to only downloading applications that are under 100 megabytes. I don't like that so I can go ahead and get 3G Unrestrictor which allows me to add the app store to the list and then then I can use as much data as I want for the app store or whatever application limits me and it's a very useful tweak it is paid but I think for the people who have unlimited data it's definitely a worth a purchase now the next app we have is NC all only and what it allows you to do is change notification center to one single column. So instead of seeing the mist and also the today view where you can see the calendar and if you don't really use the calendar then you can have only one column where you can see all of your notifications and you can make notification center more simple and provide for a minimal and clean look. Now the second to last tweak that we have is called swipe selection. Now this is also a popular one where you swipe left or right on your keyboard. You just kind of have to drag your finger and then there the little cursor will switch its position. So if you type something wrong on your keyboard, you could just swipe across your screen and get to the place you want. You don't have to use the little magnifying glass and hold your finger there. It provides for an easier way to get to your mistake and remove it quickly and keep on typing instead of, you know, searching for that magnifying glass. 
but it's called swipe selection and it's a very useful tweak. The last one that we have is hidden settings 7 and it pretty much provides for hidden settings on your phone. Now this is a real tool that Apple uses and you can adjust things like transition speed and the way your folders look and there's just a bunch you can sync into and you know observe but you just have to really focus on what you're doing and you have to know what you're doing as well. It's kind of confusing but if you know what you're doing you could really customize your phone and make it look how you want it to while using Apple's tools and not risking your phone. So it's very simple and it's called Hidden Setting 7. So that about wraps up today's video. Thank you all for watching and if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like and if you want to see more of the content on this channel be sure to check it out and subscribe for future content. But that is about it for today guys. I'll see you in the next one.